No is the word. No is the word. No is, according to psychology today, it is the scariest word in the English language. It is the most debilitating word in the English language. It, it jumps out at us like, like that guy there. It just, just jumps out at us. And according to the report for psychology today, what they said was that it, it releases so many negative endorphins and emotions in us that we just, be, you know, we would much rather have someone tell us, you know, to, uh, to run a mile than to say no to us. You know, we just, it, it opens up a whole can of worms when we just think of someone plausibly saying no to us. So no is, according to psychology today, the most dangerous word or the most scary word in the English language. No gets interpreted as rejection. It gets interpreted as, you know, it, it opens up our stuff where we begin to think all kinds of things that are based on nothing but a perception itself. It's kind of like this pizza head guy right here. He says, you know, hey, I want some pizza. Hey, want some pizza? The guy says, hey, no, not right now. Thanks, but no thanks. And this guy opens this, it opens up his stuff. Like, what? Why? What's so wrong with pizza that you don't even want to give it a chance? See, this guy's gone on a journey and the guy just simply said no. And that's the journey that we go on. We go on a journey when someone tells us no or we perceive that someone's going to tell us no because it opens up our stuff. Our stuff gets so wide open. When we begin to think, you know, well, you know, I've been told no before it hurt. I've been rejected before it hurt. And so I would much rather you not tell me no. Or I would much rather just not even go because I don't want you to tell me no. I don't even want to try because you might just tell me no. And that big word, N-O, is the most dangerous word. So you can go back, you know, it's the smallest word in somebody's mouth. But it's the scariest word. I just like that guy. <laughs> How about this one? Rejection hurts and causes us to pause because we fear it's going to hurt and we don't even try again. Snoopy, we all love Snoopy. It says, dear contributor, thank you so, thank you for submitting your story to our magazine. To save time, we are enclosing two rejection slips, one for this story and one for the next story you send us. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens, but guess what? That has never happened. That has never happened. I have never ever gotten two rejection slips. Now I've gotten one and maybe I said, okay, I'm not letting it go down like that and I've sent another and gotten another rejection, but I've never gotten two rejection slips at the same time. And if you see how it affected old Snoopy, it just knocked him out. And he's in a posture, Snoopy is in a posture now where he's probably not gonna ever try that again. Just because someone told him no. And he, re and he interpreted that as rejection. And it opened himself up, opened, he opened himself up to all kinds of stuff. And that's exactly what happens to us. When we perceive that somebody is going to tell us no. We so, say, well maybe they're gonna send me two rejection letters. Or maybe they're just gonna send me one. Each no that we receive brings us closer to a yes. And guess what? The, the no ain't going to do anything to us. It's, the no is not going to do anything. It's not going to hurt us. It's not going to harm us. You know, the only thing we do is we just kind of go into this place that's reserved for negativity. And this negative place in us is something that has been informed by our experiences. Our experiences and our perceptions in life. And we can do something about that. You know, we're going to take a stop as we travel down this road, this journey that we're on of life. And this is one of the things we're going to let off at this stop. We're gonna let off our, even, even our fear of rejection, our fear of someone saying no. Because you know, if we, if we feel like someone's gonna say no, we're not even gonna try. And as a result of not trying, we procrastinate and you know, life passes us by. Years go by and days go by and we find out that you know what, we end up having to say at some point in time, I wish I woulda, shoulda, coulda. Just because we got afraid of that big, ugly word, no. That big word, no.